offer. This is very interesting. Look again, it, it seems it doesn't have nothing to do with audience building, but actually it starts from there. So, a transaction happens only when the perceived value of the item you are selling it exceeds the price that the dollar cost of the item. Nobody, you, wouldn't buy something that costs 10 if you think it's worth 5, right? Nobody would do that. So for a transaction, for money to exchange hands, it must be that the perceived value of the item you're selling is higher than what the customer is paying. Now the key here is perceived. Value is not something which is absolute. Value is always perceived. Because if I give an, a, a banana to a monkey, for the monkey, the banana is valuable, right? But if I give a banana to a dog, the dog doesn't know what to do with it. So the value of the banana depends on which is the audience, okay? So perceived, it means that we can build up offers to make them look good, like valuable. And this means that the product itself has little to do with the value. So if your product has 100 features, but the offer is bad, it's not going to sell. If your product has one feature, but the offer is good, you're going to sell it. Okay? People buy offers. They don't buy products. And this is true in every industry. Okay? Example. This is what usually happens. You develop a product, you have it, it's done, it's ready, you make your offer, and this is... Uh, this is the price point here, and this is the number of people that buy at that price, okay? So this is what you're going to sell. But you see that this curve here, which is the, the, the potential, uh, the earning potential of your product, all the people that would buy at different price points, there is plenty of uh, space there that you are not uh, using, you are not selling. Right? You sell just a little corner of the curve. Why? Because you should do this instead. These are different offers for the same product. And you start with something free just to, to show that you have the competence in, in, the, in the field, whatever industry it is that you are in. And then you have uh, an offer for prospect which is a small commitment. It can be even an email, just free. Or it can be five euros if you sell information on product. And then you have your core offer, which is the same you had before, that, that thing over there. And then you have a logical next step, like customer bought this, and now he wants to buy that, because it solves the problem even more. Okay? And then you have a VIP package for somebody that really can spend a lot of money, doesn't care, but likes you and wants to give you one, right? So if you organize your sales like this, you are going to sell a lot. If you have one product, mm, no. Because there is, it, it's hard to spend, uh, and you know really well because you buy stuff online, it's hard to spend 50 euros on something if you never bought from that shop. You usually start with something small. And that's where these two steps are helping, okay? So these people are part of your audience, and they are interested if the offer you make is interesting, because otherwise they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't even check the website in the first place, right? So this is called a Shandy transactional model, and it is something which can really change the way you do business. So keep it in mind.